Hello and welcome back everyone. If you have seen some of my previous videos, you will know that I'm building a power wheels for my nephew, which is right behind me. And basically I'm gonna customize most of it. I, I, if you can see already, it was white before, now it's red, I already painted it. The only thing needs to be done is to polish it because something happened with the clear coat and I'm using, I did not spray with a spray gun, I just use a, a spray paint and I don't know what happened. I, I never liked that spray paint. I'm not blaming the spray paint, maybe it was the weather or something. And uh, most of the parts on this one will be custom and probably most of them, if not all of them, will be 3D printed. And I wanted to do something when it comes to the wheels. The wheels are all for the original ones. And I wanted to design my own wheels. I wanted to do something like a deep dish because this is since this is like a Porsche. And as you can see, this is the old wheels. I mean, not bad for someone that wants to use, like, you know, those who want to modify it. But I have that in my jeans that I'm gonna modify everything that I have and I'm gonna do the same when it comes to the power wheels of my nephew. And I guess the, the good thing with these uh, wheels are they are not plastic, this is like a rubber foamy thing here. So this is a good one. And um, they are pretty easy to, you know, to, to disassemble. You just have like uh, five screws on the back, this small holes here. You unscrew it and you get the, the wheel. I designed my wheel basically on this one. So let me give you some dimensions so you know exactly what wheel you are working with. This is like a 16 point millimeter the outer lip the outer lip here the whole wheel is with the tires around 21 centimeters or 210 millimeters this wheel I think front and back they have those kind of blocking washers here so the my wheel is already designed to fit those washers but you can I guess you can always modify them and do whatever you want even on the back I believe most of the power wheels probably will have the same axle diameter so it should fit if not you can always drill i it drill the hole out in the new wheels i made it from pla i don't think that will need anything like abs or something that car will not probably not see much of the sun it will be probably most inside and i printed it in a 100 percent infill so i don't believe that there will be any anything i have printed before uh, in PLA something that I put outside and it holds it as long as it's in 100% infill I don't believe you're gonna have any issue cracking or disforming or anything but you can always try a PET GASA or ABS whatever but yeah this is the old design let me show you now the new one so here, here we got my new wheel I took an inspiration from the, uh, the deep dish wheel coaster that I made a few videos ago so basically I took the inspiration for that for the design of the inside but basically this is it, I printed it in, into a, I got like a copper a filament, like a copper, some, I think it's copper or bronze, I'm not sure. And this is like a charcoal filament. And uh, this is pretty, pretty significant uh, deep dish, pretty significant offset in the wheels. To, to make the offset uh, smaller or bigger, you can always take the wheel, the outer, this part of the wheel, the copper one. And you're gonna make it scale it up or down, and that will be you. That will give you smaller or more uh, offset in the wheel. And uh, this one, like I said, I suggest that you're gonna print this all in 100% infill. Of course, this will have my logo, and this has a cap. Just because you know, I wanted that my nephew has something with my name on, so you're gonna get the wheel that just screws in. EMXR, and you're gonna, of course, everything fits as it's supposed to be. You can see, I don't have the nut yet, but I'm gonna add it afterwards. It screws without a problem. I believe I didn't, no, I did use, uh, I did use uh, supports for the, uh, for where the, uh, the rim sits on the wheel. We're gonna call this a face and this we're gonna call it a, no, we're gonna call this a face and this we're gonna call it a rim. Just because I made it such a huge offset, I had to cut the, the axles and shorten the axles so the wheel will not be poking outside, so it will be poking and it will be basically flush with the body. That's what I wanted, to have it. But if you change the the wheel's uh, say diameter, eh, the diameter, the thickness base, let's say the thickness of the wheel here, you're gonna offset it more or less. So that's up to you how much you're gonna offset and basically it screws again with the same the same screws the only thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to probably glue the the face to the wheel i would suggest maybe like a two part epoxy or something i don't believe you're gonna have any issues with that one i don't believe there's so much strength on the just because just because this foam sits on the lip on the on the lip the wheel's lip so I had to make it in, I have to glue it something stronger just so in case that 
he will my Gnifty will go to a corner that the wheel will not fell, fell off from this one. Or you can just use screws because this is pretty thick enough, so you can just use small screws to attach it. It's up to you how you're gonna do it. I was just using uh, even super glue, I believe you're gonna hold. I'm gonna try with super glue and I will let you know how it, how it went. But yeah, this is basically my wheel design. I really like how they came out. I don't know if I. I mean, I do like the offset, maybe it's too much, but I do like off this offset and probably, who knows, maybe after a few few months I'm gonna do the design new wheels. I only have printed one just because I ran out of filament, so you're not gonna see the kind uh, with the four wheels until I, it's finished. As you can see, I have uh, cut, that's what I'm saying, that I cut and shortened the, axle, the front axis just because, uh, like I said, the offset was too much and I hated it, so I wanted to bring the wheel a little bit in. But yeah, sorry for my welding, this was like a stick welding, there was not mic dig or anything and it's a long time I haven't welded with a stick. And the other thing you're gonna have to do is, like I said, if you're gonna make a, make this wheel to have an offset, you're gonna have to cut because the original, this original wheel, like this, it has, a, you know, those screw poles that you could screw the, a screw poles, I say they're gonna screw poles, you know, the pole that they use screw in the, the face of the wheel. The, basically this uh, this uh, silver part so i cut everything i cut you have you will have to cut it if you're gonna go such a deep deep uh, dish i cut everything and basically make the wheel flash with the inner part of the wheel it's basically flash plus there was some plastic uh, here around that i had to get rid of it just to put the face of the wheel flat this is like i said this is the part that i'm gonna just use a little bit scoop uh, super glue and then just slides in and then nothing to it very easy to uh, yeah i mean they ain't so difficult to point or put together or anything like that and i believe that uh, just because i can see that there's a little bit space around the, the rim of the wheel i believe that when the car will sit eventually you know it will get used this rim the phone will probably is showing probably will sit better but yeah this is the wheels i hope someone can use them i don't believe this like i said i put it in pla i believe it will hold without a problem if you want a little bit strength there's much different filaments on the market that you can use but i believe PLA will be just fine like i said so we got the old and the new i believe it's a much much bigger improvement and for sure someone will say why did i not put inside a disc and a, a caliper just to make it look like a like a car just because they're so dark i don't believe that you're gonna notice if they has or not a car a disc and i don't want it to make it so complicated so much thing to put in a car that's worth not so much so i believe they came really nice again this will be all unvaluable for free all the links are down in the description i hope you like it subscribe button, i hope i will see you in the next one